Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Strictly Fishing, and today I am going to be showing you which baits I am most familiar with and that I think are the best in springtime. Let's get to it. First off, we have the um, Lipless Crankbait. This is from LTB, and this was an exclusive one. If you had LTB, this is the one that you can not get like anywhere else. This is um, exclusively for LTB, and it came out like maybe October. No, sometime around there. So this is um, the Lipless Crankbait. This is perfect when the ice is just getting off the water, or even there's a half of sheet of ice yeah, I think this is perfect. Just a little of this crankbait. Um, actually, it's not that little, but it's perfect size right there. That is perfect. Um, they should be big bass. Big bass coming in right after the, right after the ice. Next, we have the swim baits. Um, I would prefer using these on a jig, on a swim jig. I do not have a swim jig with me right now, so um, here it is. This is what I prefer using. Um, you could put a swim bait hook on this. Good for swim bait hook, just rip it through. Um, it's still kind of early ice, so um, the weeds won't really be there too much. But I think this is perfect. They're still getting um, that real good imitation. It's got that good wobble back and forth, but it's not like a fast wobble. It's a boop, boop, thump, thump, thump. So this is the perfect bait for um, sort of early spring, mid spring thing um, um, with a swim jig too. That's perfect. Um, this is even used in mid-spring too, uh, with a swim jig. The grass is starting to grow and you just rip it through there. You got that thumb thumb with that swim jig and you have that, um, the skirt, I mean, that's what I meant. And, uh, yeah, this is perfect for that with swim jig. Next, this is for mid-spring, basically. Um, I prefer this for mid-spring. These are the craws, um, Strike King craws. You could use these on a um, three out hook, two out hook, whatever you prefer, um, whatever it really fits on. These are the Strike King, they're coffee scented. It adds to the scent a little bit. And um, it's perfect because they got that, it, this one's fast because when crawfish are swimming, if you have ever seen a crawfish, they swim really fast and they just dart real quick. And they basically swim backwards. It's kind of cool. Um, so I think this is perfect. I fish by the river a lot, and um, we see the crawfish all the time. Sometimes I even catch them, and I will probably use them for bait this year. I'll probably do that sometime. And uh, yeah, this is perfect, I think. So there's that. There it is. Um, next, we have this finesse jig. You could use this with a um, tiny fluke trailer. This is a 3 8 ounce, I believe. That's 3 8 ounce. I think this is perfect. This is a perfect uh, little flipping jig um, for when you have that cover. Um, it's mid to late spring, getting into summer. Here it is right there. And next, we have our flipping set up. And this is the missile bait. It is the D-bomb. This is perfect for Early summer, late, late spring, they're really munching. That grass is all the way up. Um, here it is right there. And we also have the Pro-V Trocar Flipping Hook. This is perfect for flipping because, like I said in one of my videos, you set the hook and it goes up and it just hooks the bass perfectly. So we have the Pro-V Flipping Hook with the flipping setup. We have the Missile Bait D-Bomb. And we have the VMC sinkers. You can put two on, so if one burns off while you're ripping it through the grass, you still have one extra one on there, so you don't have to take it off and retie. And with this VMC bobber stopper, you have um, your weight is not going up. So when I fish in the river a lot, there are rocks. So if I don't have this bobber stopper, the weight goes down the line, and your bait's still coming down. Your weight's all the way down there, though. And by the time your bait gets down, you're weight is getting lodged in a rock so it seems like you're snagged but the only thing that's really snagged is your weight so that is kind of the issue without a bobber stopper and this fix it fixes it very well and we also have this weight this is the weight we put this above the weight and uh yeah this is eighth ounce um you can put three eighths ounce something like that so, yeah, that is what I prefer for 
spraying fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. And we will be fishing this weekend, ice fishing, and it's almost February. Next week is February, I think. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I think it is, though. But, um... And then March, and then in March, we are going um, to Florida for some peacock bass. And we are going in the Everglades, we're going to Florida Keys. And the Florida Keys, we might be um, saltwater fishing, we'll see. But we will have tons of fun in March, I can't wait. So, see you guys next time on another episode of Strictly Fishing.